Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a virtual camera on Linux so that you can use it with OBS Studio and pipe the output into programs like Google Hangouts. I'm going to show you how to do this without any cloning of Git repositories or compiling. All you're going to need to do is download the dev file, create some directories and a symbolic link. So first of all, what we need to do is come across to the um, website for the plugin for OBS and then download it. I'll put links under the video um, for all of these steps and the bits of code. So first of all, what we do is we come across to the um, website that we need to download the plugin from, and then we need to download the dev file, which is the uh, installer for the program. It's about two years old, um, and I have tested this on Ubuntu 20 and um, just by creating some directories and a symbolic link you can get it to work and also get it to work in Chromium with Google Hangouts and you can test it with FFmpeg and VLC. So we're going to download the dev file and then the next step is we're going to need to install some applications um, on Linux to get this to work. So as uh, we're going to run sudo apt install v4l utils v4l2 loopback dash dkms and v4l2 loopback utils. Um, after we've done that step, um, we can move on to actually installing the dev file that we downloaded, which we do with sudo dpkg dash i and the name of the dev file. Now after we've done that step, what we can do is we move on um, to actually enabling this module. And we do that by running sudo mod probe um, v4l2 loopback device equals one, card, li card label equals obs cam, and exclusive underscore caps equals one. Basically what this will do is it will create a virtual um, video loopback device and it will label it as OBS cam and the most important bit at the end is the exclusive underscore caps equals one. This is required to get this working um, with Chromium on Linux. So after we've done that um, we'll move on to the next step which is to list the um, devices that, so that we can see that the virtual camera has been created and we do that by running v4l2 dash ctl space dash dash list dash devices. After we've done that, that will actually um, list the um, devices that is actually created. And we can confirm that by running ls dash l um, slash dev slash video asterisk. And that's going to list all the um, video devices on our system. And the virtual device that's actually being created in this case is um, Dev Video 2. So the next step, um, after we've actually installed um, the, um, deb, um, the Dev file and run mod probe and install all the packages we need, um, the plugin is actually installed in the wrong location. And this is why it doesn't work out of the box. So you, if you just install this and you, you at this point you were to open OBS Studio, you wouldn't see the plugin, and that's because the plugin location is incorrect. It's actually installed at userlib OBS plugins, and we can see there's only one plugin there, and that's because um, most of the um, default plugins that come with OBS Studio, at least on Ubuntu 20, are installed in userlib x86 underscore 64 dash linux dash gnu dash um, slash obs plugins and we can see all the plugins there now i tried copying you know the the um module to this location but it didn't work i had to do some more digging and basically what i found is that um in your home directory um in dot config obs plugins this is where plugins that you uh, manually install should live but it has a specific directory structure that you need to create um, for this to work 
And so what we need to do is run the um, mkdir um, command with the dash p flag to create these this directory structure, which is config OBS Studio plugins b4l2 sync forward slash bin forward slash 64 bit. Okay, after we've done that, what we're going to do is create a symbolic link from the location where the module is installed to the directory structure that we just created. And we do that with ln dash s and then the path to the module, which is user lib obs plugins v4l2 sync.so. And the destination is going to be um, the path we just created, the home directory dot config obs studio plugins v4l2 sync bin 64 bit. After we've done that, um, if you list that directory, you will see that the plugin is now um, got a symbolic link there. So after we've done that, what we can do is open up OBS Studio and you will now see the V4L2 sync option listed under your tools menu. So you can then select that. And what you need to do is um, specify the device, uh, which in this case is video two, and then you click the start button. After you've done that, you can come across to Google Hangouts and click the video call button. In the next step here, what we're going to do is click the cog icon, which is the second icon in the top right of the screen. And that's going to bring up the settings. Once you do that, you will see um, options for video, microphone and speakers, and you'll see the OBS cam um, listed and you can put in your microphone and your speakers. Um, so after we've done that, you click done. And then basically what will happen is you will see your webcam come up um, from OBS Studio into Google Hangouts. So there's my webcam um, being piped from OBS Studio to the virtual um, video device that we created and selected in Google Hangouts. And um, we can also run FFmpeg and um, check this is working. What I'm using here is um, FFmpeg to grab my screen, which um, is a small laptop screen at 1366-7768. And we're using the raw video codec and um, the PIX format of YUV420P, uh, Fred Zero. Uh, the format is V4L2, which is the video for Linux. And we're specifying the um, to send this to the virtual camera that we created the virtual video device which in my case is dev video 2. Now after we've done that and we've got FFmpeg running which is going to be capturing my display and sending it to the um, virtual um, video device we can move across to VLC and then select open capture device and then in the next screen what you do is you select the video device name and which in my case is video 2 and then just click play and you will then see your um, desktop streaming to the virtual video device and playing in um, VLC. So that's all you need to do to get this working on Ubuntu 20 um, is to download the deb, um, create the direct directory structure and the sim link, um, run mod probe after you've installed all the packages and um, then the option will show up in OBS Studio and you'll be able to stream to um, Google Hangouts. Um, and I've also tested this and um, I could um, select another person in Google Hangouts and record the video chat. So I get both sides of the video chat um, coming into OBS Studio. So that's the um, setup for um, installing a virtual camera on Linux um, for OBS Studio.